Yo, 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 what is up, Llamas? What is up, Sanfam? What is up, Metaverse Explorers? It's Boomba here coming to you with another video. Today's video, we're going to be touching base on a little bit of the basics, how to get started into the Sandbox Game Maker. And for a lot of you that want to get into Llama Land, this is how and what you need to do to get inside there. Right here, you can see a little bit of the Layback Llamas roadmap. As you guys know, the Llamas have a new home inside the game maker called Llama Land. We're going to jump in into the sandbox.game and you can head on over to the left side of the screen. Uh, check out the play section, which shows you a little bit about the rewards the sandbox offers for themselves throughout the alpha season right now alpha season three we got the alpha pass that you can load up and make sure you're getting as many tickets as possible so you can win a raffle if you haven't already won an alpha pass so you can take a look at the website to find out more about that i myself also host some events with the herd um, as the metaverse meta manager of the herd I, I host my own community events and we reward anyone that joins, anyone that participates uh, with grass. There's also giveaway opportunities, maybe a layback llama, lady llama. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to learn more about grass, which is a Discord token, it is not a, uh, I guess, a monetized token, but it is just for Discord purposes. And you can use it in our mall within, uh, again, the Discord ecosystem that we have. So right now we're going to go ahead and head on over to the Game Maker section. So over there in Create, we click our way there. You see the download option, whether you're on Windows, Mac OS, pick your poison and download the Game Maker. This will get you started and exploring really a lot of maps that are in this application, not just Llama Land. And from here, once you do download the game, you want to open the file, check the location, and right-click on the file and run as administrator. This will allow for the application to install as Sandbox wants you to do so. And it may take a while. The As you install it and load it up for the first time, it might be a little bit before it does. But give it time. The... Um, the game, the game just is so big that it'll take a little bit to download. But let's go ahead and jump in and load up the, the Sandbox Game Maker and sign in. Okay, so now we've opened up the Sandbox Game Maker application. And you want to head on over to the right side, the top right where it says Drafts Gallery. And you want to click your way. So you see these numbers at the bottom. You want to click your way all the way down to 404. So it's the last numbers before these three little dots. And just spam your way all the way to 404. Click, play, and the game will begin to load in. And we're about to start our adventure in the Llama Land Experience. The home of the herd inside Sandbox. And as the game loads up, you will see some information come up on the right side of the screen. That'll tell you some of the quests that are available in the experience. On the top left, you have the name, Llama Land, of course. And this particular experience is four lands. So you have four plots of land of the Sandbox ecosystem. And this is a two by two. So experiences could be like two by three, one by three, one by four. This particular one is a two by two, giving us a total of four lands. So right now, the game loaded up. I'm not clicking anything, but to get the experience started, you can click your mouse or anything on your keyboard, and it'll load you and get you started on the experience. So now we've loaded in. And I'm just moving around, moving my mouse. So you're not necessarily going to be using the down, up, and left and right arrows on your keyboard. Uh, I'm new to PC gaming myself. A lot of people are new to PC gaming in the herd. So just so you know, 
to move around, you'll be using WASD. Uh, we jump in here to talk to this boss, and he's giving us a little bit of a welcome, telling us about what's going on, and kind of guiding us where we're going to be headed. So again, WASD to move forward, back, left, and right. Very simple basics, uh, basic mechanics um, for you there. Let's head on over to our first quest to grab our snack. It looks like we do have to collect some coins. Before we do that, let's go over the mechanics again. You can jump with the space bar. You can move backwards with S, so the character is not going to like walk backwards, but it does run towards you. You can toggle the speeds by pressing Z and it'll toggle through jumping, or I'm sorry, running, jogging, and walking. And of course, if you walk, jog, or, or run, it also depends how far you jump goes. So in this scenario, I use run to jump. It got me so far. And of course, if you're just walking, you only get so far while you jump. So keep that in mind as you jump around and master the movements. So right here, we're going to collect our second coin. And I'm going to go ahead and toggle through my speeds, which you can also run with shift, by the way. So if you hold down shift, you can run. But if you toggle through the options, you don't have to hold down Z. It just automatically keeps running. And if you walk up steps, you actually don't walk automatically. Unless you're jogging and running, you automatically walk up steps. Over here, all I'm doing is just running and jumping. I'm holding forward as I jump. And if you shift run or if you're toggling through your run option, all you're doing, you can just jump and then press forward and hold forward and it'll get you to the location. So hopefully that helps you a little bit with the movements. I know some of you were asking for help. Shout out to Sweetgrass. Uh, shout out to anyone that's learning the mechanics. There's no rush. Um, but yeah, let's head on over to the snack machine, which gave us our first item. And we can pull up our items by or our inventory by present I. And you can drag this to the location that it would go on. Or you can just double click the item and it'll equip it for you. So now we have our mask. And let's head on over to our next location here with Mr. Lampire. And now we're going into the Coyote Dent. We're going to take a look at some of the fighting mechanics, which very simple. I'm just right clicking my way. As you're attacking, your character does attract itself to um, the coyotes or the enemies. Here is a kind of like a secret weapon. You might not see it, uh, but it does drop and it's one of the first weapons you can pick up. So here's the third coyote in here. And again, if you're not actually fighting an enemy, you're always going to attack the way the camera is facing. So if you're changing, let's say the llama is facing one way, but the camera is facing the other way, it's always going to go towards where the camera is facing. But if you're actually fighting an enemy, let's equip this um, sword real quick so we can see a little bit of the difference. But if you are fighting an enemy... What it's going to do is kind of launch itself towards the enemy as you attack. So I'm going to look a different way, but now I'm clicking. See, it's not facing the attack towards the camera, but towards the llama. You could also charge up by holding the left click, and it'll allow you to start attacking. You can let go mid, or you can hold it to the fullest, and it'll do the most powerful attack. All you're doing here is just holding W as you jump towards the wall. You can hold A here and kind of make your way over. And once you hit that ledge, press forward to get closer to that little ledge. We interact with this chest by pressing E. And we just picked up some climbing gloves, which, which help us 
complete one of the missions or one of the quests um, from another boss. So let's go ahead and get out of this coyote den, cave. Let's see what else we get here. Came back, wasn't that bad. Okay, you got a katana for me, let's go. So now we have another item in our inventory. So real quick, we learn how to jump with space bar. We learn the different speeds that we can move through by running, walking, jogging, by pressing Z. We learn how to get our inventory up by pressing I. And another thing you can do is press the X key to sit down at any given time. This will allow for some epi picks and some nice chilling laid back vibes as you go. You could also press the shift key to roll around as you're moving forward, whether you're walking, running, or jogging. You just tap the shift key and it'll allow you to roll. As we head on over to another location inside Llama Land, let's interact with this checkpoint, which is supposed to, anytime you die, respawn you to that particular location. The previous respawn, I guess we'd say where Lampire was. Um, but this particular time, it didn't respawn us at the checkpoint that we interacted with. But it's okay. We move on. Game is a bit glitchy at times, so bear with the experience. But let's head on over to Lugi De Niro. He has no request for us. Let's see what's up. If it seems Snoop's land, I think he was here with some of his friends that left some items for me. Can you help me find him? Sure thing. Let's do it. So there's a couple ways to get up to the specific spot, but we're going to guide you through kind of where the circles are and follow the way. So bear with the jumps. No rush. I did jump and uh, run. So I was running while jumping. So that's what happens when you get hit and you just kind of take it. Your bar, your health bar goes down. So you can block with the right click and it will protect you from any attacks. This particular enemy, you need to charge up to defeat him. So I'm holding the left click on my mouse and he's down. This particular jump that you can kind of fall off if you go too far, you want to aim towards the wall. So that you have something that stops you. This makes it easier um, if you are having a hard time with this jump. Now we have our climbing gloves. We can go up this little ladder. Go down here to collect our joints. We got two joints. Make sure you collect it. And make your way up this ladder. You do want to press up or W as you jump towards this ladder. But don't hold it too long because your llama will climb to the top. And then maybe keep going forward and fall down. Now we're on the top, collecting three more doggy biscuits or joints. And we take a look at the beautiful Llama Land as they party and rave down there. Now make sure you do grab all the, all the joints so that you don't have a hard time getting back up and have to go all the way around to do so. By the time you get here, you want to have 10. And so your 11th joint will be down here. Now we do end up in a little bit of a trippy kind of area. And huh, where am I? Let's take a look. This little blue jellyfish. Looks like we're fighting ourselves. You, okay, I did just fight myself. Are you ready to sacrifice your ego for a better life? Let's dive into the infinity well. Okay, so now we actually came back to the checkpoint that we interacted with. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a walkthrough, a little bit of a run through of Llama Land. We touched on some of the basics. We learned how to pull up our inventory by clicking I. We can remove our quest by pressing the Q key. We can sit down with X. We can walk by toggling through with Z. Walk, run, and jog. Um, jumping, of course, is space bar. And if you're jogging and if you jump and hit the shift button uh if you hold down shift in midair 
it kind of changes how far um, your Vatsu moves or your Lama. So it allows you to kind of lunge forward a little bit more midair. So you have control of how far or how fast you're going in midair. You kind of see that a little bit there. So as you kind of master the jumps of parkour and different jumps throughout different experiences, it will allow you to get to different locations. I uh, hope you enjoyed. To pull up your emotes, you can press the T and express yourself in different ways. Agree, dance, and whatnot. Another thing you want to keep in mind is doing this little movement circle around. It allows you to get comfortable with the mechanics of keyboard. And you want to do that both ways. It's a good way to really start mastering the movements, especially in sandbox. You want to be able to do it fast, both ways. It's a good practice. May be a little bit weird at first, but practice does improve um, your gameplay. Thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, I'll see you in the sandbox chat in the Discord. Lama.